These are the 10 reasons not to marry a doctor according to Google. With the divorce rate being as high as they are, it makes sense to think through before picking the right person at the right time and for the right reason. There are many many times when people choose a life partner only to regret being in a relationship with them. They're too quick to jump on a relationship bandwagon thinking they are running out of time and it's about time they settle. However, choosing the right person to spend your life with is extremely important and it's a significant decision you need to weigh the pros and the cons and while you're at making a list of qualities for your man i think you should take a look at every single detail before getting married and i think you may want to cross doctors out of your list most girls think that uh marrying a doctor would solve all their problems but marrying a doctor is not exactly a bed full of roses and here are 10 reasons why doctors are almost always busy doctors have an extremely busy schedule from being on call for almost an entire day to working throughout the night they have too much on their plate and if you want your significant other to spend his nights at home and not be dealing with nausea with headaches with vomiting diarrhea you don't want to marry a doctor most of your dates will be cancelled at their very last minute and the remaining ones will be spent on phones with patients or hospital staff <laughs> in fact uh, they might be working so often that your children might start calling someone else mom and dad <laughs> And you don't want that. Number two, dinner table conversations will be all about blood, gross stuff, patients, sutures, and medical stuff, most of all. The dinner after work may be delicious, but the conversations will be all about the emergency room and gross injuries. Imagine being married to a gynecologist. You'll be spending the rest of your life talking about childbirth, vaginas and hospital things. I don't think you want that. Number three, a good thing or maybe not is you will learn new terminology every single day even though it will increase your medical vocabulary but do you really want to know what hypopotamus pedaliophobia means i don't think so or other complicated words you won't probably be able to pronounce like this one and there is not a slight chance that these words will be easy, small, or non-complicated. All medical stuff is complicated. Number four, think of it as a long distance relationship. Just forget about your love life. The relationship will be more like a long distance thing. There won't be any uh, long romantic dinners or long romantic phone call conversations. And if they really love you, they might be able to spare a couple of minutes to talk to you on the phone. Number five your schedules will almost never match do you really want to marry someone who works throughout the night <laughs> and at home during day when you're possibly going to work and you know what that means you won't see each other for days maybe a week sometimes even if you live in the same house and no lovely doughy time that's a problem to some couples and you might as well spend your life with a hundred cats or dogs whatever you like if this is going to happen there's suffering both ways and by the way if you enjoy this video subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos like this video and comment down below if you ever had a relationship with a doctor or a medical student and tell us how much time did you spend together come on pause the video and comment down below go ahead come on number six forget about weekend getaways there are many times when doctors are needed in the weekend and this is the case most of the time especially in this period of time right now with the covid pandemic you'll barely see your significant other and all those plans you were making inside your head for over the weekend are now gone and you are suffering and you'd better cancel those because guess what it's not going to happen number seven don't expect any help in the house and this happens to me too because sometimes when my parents are at home 
and I need to study, they ask me to um, do something in the house to, to help them. And guess what? I have a case full of um, excuses and actually the excuses are good because I really need to study. So I'm always telling them I have to study and this is what I really do. And I'm a medical student and being a doctor is even more stressful and it takes much 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 more time to be at the hospital with the patients, night shifts, day shifts. Me, medical student and doctors are full of excuses. So don't expect them to help with uh, the housework or do you personal favors. Ask them to do dishes and they will tell you they have a case study to prepare. Tell them to give you a back massage. They'll probably tell you that they have a back strain from standing all day on their feet. You will be washing the dishes and mopping the floor with no one helping you for the rest of your life. Maybe your cats, your 100 cats, probably. Number eight, get ready to go to parties or family gatherings alone. Imagine your parents invited you to their 40th birthday party. Everyone's going to be there, fun, laughter. But guess what? You're going to be alone because your husband or wife won't be there. Guess what? They have night shift. When you're married to a doctor, this becomes something normal. You need to get used to going to gatherings alone. You won't only be boring, but annoying too. So good luck choosing wisely. Number nine, the smell of antiseptics will drive you insane. It drives me insane uh, because all the time when I go to the hospital, I always have smelly gloves of antiseptics and I don't like that smell. There are plenty of fish in the sea, just like my mother says. Maybe you can find yourself a handsome physics teacher who will work only the working hours and since he's a teacher he will be good with children too, so think about it. And we finally arrived to number 10. They won't hold your hands to show affection. Doctors don't hold hands to show affection. They only do it to check if your heartbeat is normal and if your body temperature is fine. Most of them don't know how to be romantic. I am. <laughs> but they know how to check your blood pressure and if your breathing is fine. <laughs> so the final diagnosis, if these 10 are not enough for you to not marry a doctor, I'm not sure what is. And doctors are really good at hiding things. Shh, don't tell anyone. They might kill you and they will not get caught. Why? Because they can I did. Just kidding, just kidding, don't worry. These are the 10 reasons not to marry a doctor according to Google. And I think these 10 reasons are a little bit exaggerated. A little bit more. <laughs> not every doctor is the same, first of all. I would hold hands to show affection. I would help with housework. I would definitely make time for my wife, for my, for my children, because family is the most important thing in your life. And I don't want my family to turn their backs on me, because I always make excuses not to be with them, or to help them, or be there whenever they need me to be. In the future, I will be making another video like this, but with 10 reasons to marry a doctor. And next time you are talking to a medical student or a doctor and you want to have a relationship with them, make a list with these 20 reasons to marry or not to marry a doctor. To see which of these points are important to you. Then you put them on a scale and you decide if it's worth continuing the relationship or not. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please share it with your friends and comment down below if you agree with these 10 reasons not to marry a doctor according to Google. Not to. And what would you do differently? What would you do for your loved one? If you want to see me play Operate Now, click right here. And if you want to laugh, click right here. Stay healthy guys. Bye.